Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid and when I think of the sea and I think of the adventure of sailing out on a boat, I think of the San Francisco Bay Area where I live and the many yachts and small sailboats that always seem to dot the bay. Of course, for the real intrepid sailor, you want to venture beyond the safety of the bay and out into the deep waters. That sense of adventure is perhaps the inspiration behind my painting New Horizons, which really celebrate a sense of seeking new discoveries, seeking new adventures, perhaps getting out of your comfort zone. My dad actually enjoyed taking his boys sailing. We did a little bit of sailing growing up. I remember the sense of quietude as I sat for the first time in a sailboat with no sight of land on either side. New Horizons really celebrates that sense of stepping out where others may not dare to go. If you look at the sailboat that's the centerpiece of the composition, you notice that the sailboat is sailing out boldly into the distance, while others may be returning home to the safety of the port. I did a lot of research on sailing boats from history and included many classic sailboat designs in this painting. Imagine how exhilarating it would be to sail out in those early days and not really know what lie over the horizon. Well, if you think about it, that's the same boat that we're all in. And each of us in our life has those moments where we just have to hang on and trust that the wind or God's guidance will get us safely home. The name of the boat is Confidence, and in my mind at least, you need a lot of confidence to sail forth to distant horizons. You don't always know what's over the crest of the horizon. Perhaps there's a new land to be discovered. But there might be danger as well, so it takes a lot of courage to make the journey. Of course, the main boat is filled with people who are joining in the quest. Perhaps they're sailing off to an unknown horizon, maybe even to discover new waters. If you look carefully in the boat, you see a lot of details. The sailors are busy at work. As the boat sails out, we see swarms of seagulls that are surrounding the boat. The clouds are beginning to herald hope on the horizon. Perhaps the light is breaking through just in time to remind the captain that the venture is worth taking. We see the colors of sunset beginning to break upon the landscape. The light begins to glow at the edges of the hillsides in the distance. And the tops of the sailboat catch those rays of sun, as do the swirling waves with their foam that dances in the wind. I especially like the foam on the water. My daughter took a look at this painting and thought all that foam reminded her of a big bowl of whipped cream. You know, there's something about foamy water that just suggests peacefulness. Somehow the constant motion of the waves suggests to me that God is still in his heaven looking down on this world, that it will never stop changing, and that life ultimately will be good. I like the sense of rays that drop out of the sky as though it's God's hand of blessing showing the way to the distant horizon. Of course, in the lower right-hand corner, we see a bobbing bottle, perhaps with a note inside. Another reminder that when you're at sea, you're beyond the reach of communication. It's just you and the waves, and hopefully if you've got a good crew along, you can make the journey safely. This painting really utilized a lot of my favorite classic techniques. I tried to create the painting around the idea of a single-masted sloop and that history of that boat that perhaps is tied to the great tradition of Dutch seascape painting. With that in mind, I used a lot of very luminous tones in the distance. The water actually seems to get brighter and more luminous as we get out towards the horizon. Light played a very important part in this painting, as it does in all my works. I think you'll notice a special sense of light pouring from the clouds. It seems to give a real luminous quality to everything it touches. As you dim the light on the painting, take special note of that wonderful translucent color that seems to glow from within on the sailboat of the main sailing vessel. As the lights dim, you really get a sense that the colors are growing warmer, more luminous. It's as though sunset is coming. The edge lighting on the clouds intensifies, the light on the distant hills becomes more radiant, and the reflection in the water seems to glow all the more. But to me, the star of the show is the light on those sails, especially the sails on the main ship. Watch how the light gets very luminous 
and almost as though the sail becomes transparent as the light seems to radiate from within. I'm especially fond of detail work. I really like getting in there with my magnifying glass and touching up each individual area of the painting. I put 17 hidden ends in this painting. Those are tributes to my wife, Nanette. You'll notice even the individual threads on the sail and little creases in the fabric itself. Lights are glowing from every boat. You can even see them reflecting in the water if you look carefully enough. You might even see a figure or two on the boat that comforts you. Take hope in the fact that we never sail alone. I think that's the real inspiration of New Horizons. That sense of the life journey, of hanging on and trusting as we sail boldly forth. I hope you'll get inspiration from this painting, especially if you're going through a time of indecision or perhaps a time of being in between one goal or another. That's the time we've got to hang on and stay towards the goal and trust in God for direction. As you sail out on your own life adventure, I hope you discover that new horizons are waiting just ahead. This is Thomas Kincaid reminding each of you to always remember God is good and His love is the light of the world. God bless.